What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMGWTF, LOL, FTW, BRB, and welcome to, I guess, what would be like a 20 of 2018 update video? I don't know. It's something like that. But before we can get, actually get to the video, I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, if I'm forgetting any other holidays, I apologize. And hell, if you don't even celebrate anything, Happy Monday to you, at least. But uh, either way, just wanted to wish everybody uh, happy holidays, and uh, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can just jump right into this 2018 update video, because I'm pretty much going to be covering what's going to be happening in the upcoming year here. So uh, as you guys can see, you're getting a little bit of a preview of what's going to be happening on Monday Night Raw in the Invasion series, so that's kind of cool. That's literally all I have book it booked. It took me a while to kind of come up with what I wanted to do. I'm very particular with this series. But I'm not, I don't want to talk about that just yet. I've got a little notepad here to kind of help me along so I don't stray a path. Because you guys know me. I'm a rambler. I tend to go on and on and on. So the first thing I want to talk about, as you see, it's highlighted, or not really highlighted, but the first thing on the top. It's called the 31 Days of the Royal Rumble. <clears throat> now, my original intentions for the 31 Days of the Royal Rumble is uh, I wanted to actually do a review for each and every day so you know January 1st to January 31st of all 31 of the Royal Rumbles because this is the only year that that'll happen we're gonna have 31 Royal Rumbles so 31 for all 31 days of January if you get where I'm going with this but um so I originally wanted to do a review but I don't really have a camera I, I mean I was I was trying to do the webcam on this before I just I'm not big on the webcam myself and I just prefer a camera, and I don't really have a camera or anything to set up. So, I don't. I, I didn't really want to do the reviews on the webcam. So I figured what I would do instead of, you know, the reviews, is I'm still going to kind of give my review on the Royal Rumble. But instead of just reviewing or giving you guys my opinion on the Rumble, I figured we got, you know, all of us together, you and me, can watch the Royal Rumbles together. So starting January 1st and ending on January 31st, every day, I'll give you guys a day, you know, I'm probably going to schedule it on YouTube or something, uh, what time we will be doing it, but we're going to schedule a time and we're going to sit down and watch each and every Royal Rumble on every single day, pretty much. I, I'm, I'm taking way too long to explain this. I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, yeah. You guys can join. You're more than welcome to. In fact, I hope you guys will join. I'll have some buddies joining me, hopefully, on some of those days as well. And uh, and I mean the entirety of the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, not just the Royal Rumble Battle Royal. Like, from start to beginning of everything, it's going to be a surreal experience. It might be a little difficult because um, I think there are times that I'm actually going to be, like, on the road and all that. So I might have to either watch one a day ahead of time or either just really try to work around it. I don't know. We'll we'll have to we'll figure it out as we go along. But either way, that's that's the plan for January is every single day, January 1st from January 31st, I'm going to be live streaming either on YouTube or Twitch. Um, I'm actually going to leave that up to you guys. I have a Twitch channel. I'm going to be going over that a little bit later in this. But um a lot of you guys are already subscribed to YouTube, so if you guys would like me to live stream on YouTube, I can always do that. That way more of you guys can be notified and know when I'm actually doing it. Or I could just still do it on Twitch. Either way, we're going to be doing it there. Or not there, we're going to be doing it either way. So you guys let me know what you would prefer. And uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll try each and different day to see how the viewership goes and see where more of you guys come from as well. So that's the plan right there. Every day, a Royal Rumble should be fun, starting with the Royal Rumble, the very first one, all the way to the one that'll be this year as well. And uh, I think for the one this year, I'm going to have to do both the Women's Rumble and the Men's Rumble, so that'll be interesting. So uh, next up is going to be Total Extreme Wrestling uh, 16 here, the Invasion series mainly. Uh, we are in February. We are getting close to... What many of you thought would be the end of the Invasion series, if any of you guys are thinking it's still the end of the Invasion series, it's not. After WrestleMania, we are still going to be doing uh, Invasion, whether it's the storyline or some post-Invasion stuff. Either way, what I'm trying to get at is WrestleMania is not the end of the series. In fact, the Invasion angle is not the end of the series. 
I do have plans post invasion storyline. So invasion is going to be sticking around no matter what. But uh, after WrestleMania, which we are getting close to, as you can see, we are on week three. This is the go home week for uh, No Way Out. So once I get Raw, Nitro, and Heat up, we'll be at No Way Out. And uh, once I get Raw the way, Nitro and Heat usually are easy for me to book for some reason. Because Nitro is mostly the invasion storylines, whereas Heat's just throwaway stuff. I just come up with it off the top of my head. And uh, once we're past No Way Out, it's, it's WrestleMania, buddy. And I feel like we're going to be zooming through WrestleMania because that's when things are going to start heating up. So once we get past WrestleMania, I am going to start a new Total Extreme Wrestling series while keeping the Invasion series going. So, and I'm going to have you guys vote on it. I haven't decided what it is exactly I'm going to have you guys vote on. I'm sure there's going to be probably a current day WWE series. I've promised you guys a New Japan series so many times, despite me not really knowing much about New Japan. So that's always an option. I've gotten my buddy Zach to agree to do an ECW series with me. So if that's something you guys want to see, we can always try to do an ECW series. I can do WCW. Literally, the, the it's endless. You guys can literally vote down below for any series. And once I get past WrestleMania, I'm going to make a video pretty much putting up that... um. Here is, uh, you know, the voting poll. Vote for, you know, what series you guys want to see. So you guys can all comment down below, and I will take all and probably every in consideration. And there is one that actually I really like the idea of. So if you guys were know or follow Impact at all, which I don't know why you would, but <laughs> if you do, uh, Billy Corgan a while back, he, you know, left Impact. So he's no longer a part of Impact. But Billy Corgan being the front man of Smashing Pumpkins, he has a little bit of a name value to him. And he was promised impact, but he didn't get impact. So he went out and bought NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance. And I thought it would be a clever idea to play as Billy Corgan with the National Wrestling Alliance. But here's the twist, guys. Not just Billy Corgan. See, I think it'd be cool to literally make the National Wrestling Alliance an alliance. So we'd have Billy Corgan being, you know, the American. You know, the NWA America. And then we'd have someone represent Mexico, someone represent, uh, represent Japan, so on and so forth. Each and every country available to us in the game and have a national wrestling alliance and try to build it up to become like the top companies in the entire world. So that's kind of my idea. That'll be in the voting poll as well when we get to it. But uh, that's just kind of the future of Total Extreme Wrestling for you guys right there. Invasion sticking around no matter what. Whether the invasion angle ends at WrestleMania or it doesn't, even after WrestleMania, we're starting the new series, and I even once the invasion angle itself ends, whether it's past WrestleMania or not, I haven't really decided. Is going to we're gonna I have post invasion plans pretty much. So there you have it. Like I said, here is a little preview for what's to come. So enjoy it. I usually don't give away many previews for this, so it, it happens. All right. So besides the Total Extreme Wrestling series on my channel, I've been trying to get back into uh, Let's Plays. I was a little stagnant for a while there because, well, this holiday season has just been rough with work. Surprisingly, we've been a lot busier than we expected to be. So, yeah. But anyway, I've been uh, doing Let's Play or a, a Let's Play of uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, one of my favorite games of all time. I've been having a ball playing it. It's uh, it's going to be a, a challenge for sure because. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do a 100% playthrough, and there's a lot of stuff in that game that you've got to really kind of grab and complete, so it'll be interesting, but I've been enjoying it so far. I've got a couple of those videos recorded, and um, I'll be uploading them probably coming this week, so uh, keep an eye out for those. Appreciate the support. I know uh, it's probably not your guys' gig, but, you know, maybe give it a check out. Definitely would appreciate a view. Uh, we are going to be continuing on with Let's Plays. Um, I did a, a Let's Play of SmackDown Shut Your Mouth in the past. I'm thinking after I finish Marvel Ultimate Alliance, I might do a little short game in between the two. Because I, I kind of, there's a game from my childhood I want to play, and it's really short, so it shouldn't be a long one at all. And then after we get through Ultimate Alliance and that short game, I'm thinking we'll do a, a Let's Play of a SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, so that'll be fun. But yeah, Let's Plays are sticking around on the channel. And um, yeah, just keep an eye out on them. 
All right, let me go ahead and bring um bring this up real quick because I want to talk about Twitch real quick. So, this is the Twitch channel. If you guys don't know, I stream not often, not often as I would like. My work schedule is um pretty hectic. I got a Fire Pro League going on. That is one of the highlights of Twitch. I am going to be going over what is going to be the Fire Pro episode of this week. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on Saturday. That's what day I have off, I think. So, like I said, sorry, the holiday schedule or, you know, holiday has been a little busy. So, I've been busy. I haven't even been able to go to my radio internship. So, that sucks. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Saturday is when we're going to have this episode of Fire Pro. But I'm also, starting January... I'm going to start, you know, requesting Fridays off, like telling my boss that I can't work Fridays. You can schedule me mornings Fridays, but I can't work nights on Fridays because, like I said, I got this internship at this radio, and I really got to start going there more often. I mean, we were talking about a job maybe, so if I get offered that, that'd be cool too. But at the end of the day, it's, it's still a good opportunity for me. So I want to, you know, try to make Fridays like my day, so that's going to be kind of like... I need, you know, I need to go to this internship. Like I said, you can work me Monday mornings, but I got to do that. I'm going on a little bit of a tangent here. Like I said, I don't want to go on too much of a tangent, but either way. So if I you know when I do eventually, you know, get these Fridays off, cause I am going to request to have Fridays off every week. Um, I'm thinking that'll be our streaming days. So the radio station wouldn't even last that long. It's like usually three to five. So once I get out of the radio station, we can do like the fire pro league. And then maybe some GTA because it is a Friday so I can stream a little later without waking anybody up or being too loud or some bullshit. But, you know, I'm thinking Friday will be our days with maybe, you know, days off in between working around that as well. But, uh, yeah, we got a schedule. Like I said, that's going to be the kind of the schedule Fridays and whatever days off are in between. But pretty much what I do here on Twitch, originally I was using Twitch to do this uh, series called IWC where I let you guys help me book. But the only downside is to that is I really required a lot of viewership. And I'm not trying to bag on anybody. It's just there wasn't a lot of viewers, you know. So it, it gets a little hard. And then it kind of got a little out of hand. I won't lie. There was, I should have expected it, to be honest. But I am going to be doing a similar series to that. We'll get to that in a moment. That'll be one of the final things I actually touch on. Uh, but I, I started doing a Fire Pro League where pretty much anybody can join. I There's no limit. You get to create, you know, your own team. You get to choose three people. One's going to be the main eventer. Two are going to be the tag team. I'm kind of dabbling with the idea of adding, like, a woman competitor, but I need, like, more people to be in the league more consistently that I can actually keep in touch with. And maybe even a fictional character. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, I do the Fire Pro League. We got a lot of, a lot of fun doing that. And I also am very much using my Twitch to conquer the large backlog amount of games that I have that, um, yeah, I have a lot of games that I've never beaten in my life, never even played, just a lot of games. <laughs> so I've been using Twitch to kind of do that. We've been playing through uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 on the PlayStation 2. Who boy, is that game uh, frustrating. I think we're kind of close to beating that, though, so we should be picking a new game here shortly. So uh, that'll happen with that. If you guys always want to see a game, you can always donate on stream to uh, pick the next game, and that'll you know make more effort. But if not, it's always a randomized pick. That's how GTA was picked. So yeah, that's pretty much what goes on on Twitch is we do the Fire Pro and the uh, the conquering of the backlog of games, and then maybe some random shit along the way. I've been kind of thinking about streaming this Total Extreme Wrestling series I've been doing, again, playing as Billy Corgan, but this time I created my own company called Smashing Wrestling Alliance. And uh, this was before he bought the NWA, so I didn't think about that. And I've been booking that for a little while. That's actually kind of why Invasion's been on a little bit of a hold, because I've really been obsessed with booking that for some reason. But, uh, yeah. So we also are going to have some new series coming along the uh, YouTube channel. Let me go ahead and pull up Total Extreme Wrestling for you guys again. Uh, we, Like I said, we got Total Extreme Wrestling and the new Let's Plays coming out. I'm also going to be doing the 31 Days of the Royal Rumble for... Um, for January, but besides that, in fact, let me go ahead and pull up the documents. By the way, here's the OMG Fire Pro League. As you see, we can have all our teams here, current champions, so on and so forth. That's always a fun document. I'll probably link all these in the video down below if you guys want to check them out. The Twitch, the Fire Pro League, 
all this other stuff. But besides that, we can go ahead and look at my other documents real quick. I'll spoil something for you guys. Um, I've got other things that I wanna I wanna do. I've been working on other projects. Uh, for instance, let me pull my notepad up again here. I got this future comic series right here for my favorite character, you know, Gambit. It's called The History of Gambit. That's not the legit title of it. It's just kind of what I've named it right now. Uh, look, there's the 31 Days of the Royal Rumble rough draft <laughs> when I was going to make a review of it. But uh, anyway, the comic series is pretty much just going to be me looking at a single character and all their standalone series like Gambit, for instance, or I don't know... Um, Moon Knight, uh, Superman, Superman's a, don't, don't expect a Superman, that's a long, hard, expensive one to do, but stuff like that where I can pretty much go through the history of the character and read through their entire history. That's going to take a little bit though because Gambit actually just, I just found out today that he's having a new series with uh, Rogue that I'm going to have to do as well, so got it updated a little bit, but I also got, you know, I've always said that I wanted to do like a how would I series, whether it's like how would I book a certain thing or how would I have done this show or video game or something. And that's kind of what I've been working on with like something like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, PlayStation All-Stars is another one you can see. Uh, I thought there was another one, but I guess I was wrong. But there's other ones, you know, other ideas that I've come up with in my head. So... Just keep an eye out for that stuff. I've been working on scripts, trying to get new series along the way, and that kind of brings me to another series that I really, really wanted to do, but uh, it's it's a costly series, so I... Oh, I'm sorry, guys, but I went ahead and I created a Patreon. <laughs> I feel bad because I never wanted to be like that chill-out guy that asks you guys for money. This has always been something where it's been more fun for me it's just a hobby but you know i'm a creative guy i have ideas in my head some of these ideas are costly ideas like legit acting series and stuff like that so i went ahead and i created a patreon as you can see here in this little bio thing you know all these donations will go towards the youtube channel and these future projects that i have based on series such as like blues clues sesame street scooby-doo and so much more I mean, it sounds a little childish, but trust me when I say that the, these series based off these these cartoons and stuff aren't as childish as you would think. But uh, I'll go with more touch of that when I'm actually going to make a video for Patreon for, like, you know, the actual series. Uh, but we got a couple tiers here. You got the legit just BRB tier. I'm not going to lie. It's just kind of my name, just all the names of the tiers. BRB tier is the lowest tier. We got the dollar of the, per month. FTW for 5, LOL for 10, WTF for 25, and OMG for 50 if you guys are feeling crazy. I don't expect you guys to really do much. The only one I would be cool is like the dollar video or dollar ones, but you know, if you donate anything else, or not really donate, this is more of a, I guess a payment, you know, you pay per monthly. It's not like a Twitch thing, but uh, yeah, that's kind of what works around here. It's, yeah, if you do it, you're a part of this tier. So like the BRB tier, for instance, you just kind of get like a mention at the name of the video, at the end of the video, one of those basic ones, just a thank you from me, kind of, I don't know. It kind of feels kind of chill, you know, cheap, but I don't know what else to do for a dollar, you know? And I, I, I don't, I feel like that's what, like the, I don't know. If you guys have any other ideas for a dollar, that could be something small. I could do that as well, but I, I don't really know what else. Uh, FTW is kind of where I, it really kind of starts stepping up. Uh, this is when you'll not only get your name in at the video, at every YouTube video I make, but um, you also get to have a created wrestler pretty much in one of my, in my current Total Extreme Wrestling series. So which at the time would be Invasion or post WrestleMania, it would be um, whatever we're doing at that time. So you get like the current, you know, thing where you would get to be a part of, uh, I, oh actually, well this one, the FTW tier is more of you're a drifter. So I get to create the character, you don't get much of an input on it, you kind of just give me a, a generalized idea of like, hey, here's the name, and I want him to be a brawler or something, and then I'll kind of make the stats myself, and then release you onto the world, and we'll follow you every month and see how you're doing, you know, you're a drifter, you maybe you get hired, stuff like that, and then so on and so forth with like the LOL tier, where, you know, you still don't really get much of an input, but instead of, you know, being a drifter, you're put in my developmental company, you don't have a guarantee of being called up, but... You most likely will because I usually give everybody a chance unless you really aren't that impressive. 
Uh, then you got the WTF tier, which uh, this one, you actually get to uh, help me create your character. You get more of an input on what you want your character to do, so on and so forth, uh, what kind of wrestler you want him to be, and how good you want him to be, and maybe how much of a pro you want him to be. I don't know. It's your call. Just try not to make him too much of an overpowered guy, you know? That's all I'm asking. Either way, and uh, it's your call. You get to pretty much do what you want to do with them, and they'll also be in my developmental company or any company of your choice. If you want them to be in, like, New Japan or something, you're more than welcome to. I don't give a damn. And then the OMG tier being the biggest one is uh, you get put into the top choice. So um, I'll get to that in a second. Along with everything else being there, the OMG tier, you get put into like the top thing. Because once I reach like 100 per month, which if I get two people to do the OMG tier, not begging you to. I'm just saying if I do, it'll start the series a lot earlier. Uh, once we do the 100 per month, I'm going to kind of restart IWC. I don't know if it's going to be IWC or if we'll just do a different company. But I'm pretty much going to be, we're going to be doing our own company. It's going to be an end of the month thing where I'm going to let you guys book an entire month with me. I don't know how many shows we'll do or how many months we'll do. But I'm going to like pretty much choose at random or if you're in the OMG tier, you'll get to be choose like, you'll, you'll have the higher probability and so on and so forth. So like, you know. WTF tier will be like, you know, your name will be in there like four times or something in the randomized selection. But the OMG tier, there's no randomized selection. You're literally like, all right, you're, I pick you. What are we doing for this month? Like, book this month with me, so on and so forth. And that'll be your month of the show. So once we reach like 100 per month, if we ever do, that's when I'll start doing something like that. Again, I don't really expect you guys to do this. It's just, you know, if I, if I ever wanted to actually do some of these ideas I kind of need to like make money somehow and I gotta also pay my own bills so I don't know this is how other youtubers do it so I figured I got to throw my name in somehow but uh yeah that's pretty much it that's that's the series or you know the video I don't know how long I've been recording about 20 minutes that's not too long actually so I guess one of the last things I can do before we end this off let me go ahead and close this all out is um i can show you guys the smashing wrestling alliance i mentioned it before so why not end it off like that all right let me pull it up for you guys so like i said this is the smashing wrestling alliance i've been booking it i think this is our fourth year i don't know hold on let's look at the history real quick 2017 so no it's definitely not our fourth year it's our third year right, yeah third year not too bad um we've gone up and down with some you know superstars over the year but like people like aaron stevens you know damian sandow ach have all been here for a while i'm just gonna scroll through the roster real quick and you guys can see who we've hired and who uh Never mind. I guess you can't really see who we fired, but who we've hired over the uh, the years. Actually, I just hired him. He just got released by WWE. And that's it. And one of the cool things here is I actually purchased Evolve Wrestling. Like I had a whole storyline of like Evolve invading us. Uh, we can even go through the show history. I think that was 2018. I don't know. Hold on. I think it was 2018. I'm trying to see like if we, I find an Evolved title. Yeah, this is 2018 because now we're SW, SWA Evolved. And before I was just Friday Night Fight Night. But, um, yeah, there you have it. Yeah. So we have the Evolved Championship and all that. So we purchased Evolve and I had like a whole invasion angle between us. And that's where a lot of these guys came from. Like Sammy Callahan and Chuck Taylor and... Timothy Thatcher, who's become one of my favorite guys to book, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, we have our current champions right here, the Stars of the Future Tourney. Kind of a cheesy name, but whatever. Uh, ACH was the first winner with JXT, some Australian guy who was really disappointing. And now Leo Rush, because everyone tells me he's going to be a star. Style Battle was a evolved thing, so I kept it around afterwards to kind of keep the tradition. Um, Ricochet was them, not me. Then we had Big Daddy Walter, who was my guy. And then I had Matt Riddle win it again. 
Uh, then we have the No Limit Championship, which was my championship. Now, early on in SWA history, I, w I was trying to keep to a thing where I didn't want to hire people who are already on TV with like ROH, Lucha Underground, and so on and so forth. So uh, JT, John, JT Dunn was the first champion, and then it went to Deshaun Pratt. But Lucha Underground hired J Deshaun Pratt, so I gave it back to JT Dunn. And then I hired Matias Starr, which is Tyler Breeze from uh, WWE. But Lucha Underground then hired him, so I got rid of him and gave it back to JT Dunn. Then I gave it to uh, Afa Inouye Jr., who is uh, Manu from Legacy, if you remember him at all. He was kind of disappointing, so I took it off of him pretty quickly and gave it to Ethan Page. Uh, Ethan Page was contract was coming up and I was going to renegotiate with him until I kind of felt like the money he was asking for was too much and this was when I was losing money because it was in that downfall which we're still kind of in a downfall so took the belt off of him and gave it to Christopher Daniels who was already in like a downfall of his career so he didn't last long as champion as well back to JT Dunn again who was in the uh, house of truth at this time but then I had him lose the title to Matt Riddle and got kicked out of the house of truth because Matt Riddle and Truth Martini have great chemistry with each other and uh, people were telling me Matt Riddle wasn't that great, so I kind of figured, let me let me try something else out, and I gave the title to Timothy Thatcher, and it was just kind of supposed to be a holder championship, you know what I mean? Like, he wasn't going to be the permanent thing, because he's kind of like an upper mid main eventer, main eventer, but I kind of like the idea of him being like just this badass that no one can beat, so I've been having him hold the championship, and I might have uh, Tommy Black beat him, which is Aleister Black, so we'll see. I might start streaming this as well. I don't know. Uh, then we go to the tag team Anarchy, which is Dante Inferno, better known as Michael Dante, and uh, Tommy Black, better known as, you know, Tommy End on the independent scene or Aleister Black in WWE. They had another name, but I I changed their name, apparently, and I guess I guess it, uh, it changes it for everything. But they did have something else. I changed it to Anarchy, and uh, yeah... This was originally the Evolve Tag Team Championships. I didn't have a tag team titles at first because I was just booking singles competitors until I had enough. So when I got it, it was the Bravado Brothers. I had Aaron Stevens and Dijak win it because they were kind of a bodyguard kind of thing going on. Dijak really disappointed though, sorry. Uh, Bravado Brothers won it back and then we had the Christ Brothers win it. Jake Christ and Dave Christ. Zero or... O-I-4-K? I don't know that's their name in the game. They're O... Hio versus everyone in TNA. Then uh, Hunter Savage, one of these guys that I've taken kind of like as a future guy in my company. I don't know. No, he's not a future guy, but like he's one of the young guys that I want to kind of build up. It was originally supposed to be him and this uh, one of the guys called Damian Devlin, who is Victor in the Ascension. But um, he got injured, so I gave it to him and Sammy Callahan because they were part of the same stable. But... I took it off them quickly and gave it back to uh, the Chris Brothers. Then it went to the World Wide Underground, PJ Black and Johnny Hennigan. And then it went to ACH and the Amazing Red, the team I called the Airbenders. <laughs> and then we gave it to the World Wide Underground, Mark Andrews and PJ Black. Mark Andrews joined Hennigan and Black. Then it went to Taylor and Thatcher, who have great chemistry together, by the way. We found that out during the Involve Invasion angle. Then back, then back to Black and Andrews. And then... Dave Christ and Jake Christ again, and then finally, Anarchy reigns. And then finally we go to the SWA World Championship, which I've been very particular about. I didn't want many people holding it, want to kind of make it, you know, when you hold the belt, you hold the belt for a while. I had Mike Bennett as our first champion, but uh, Lucha Underground hired him away, so I had him lose the title up to uh, ACH, who I built up for the championship. And then ACH held it for a long time, in fact he was kind of like the main face of uh, SWA during that Evolve invasion. And then in Johnny Hennigan's first pay-per-view, he beats ACH and reigns as champion for a long time until an upset victory by PJ Black, his friend, which also involved a triple threat match with Mark Andrews, who was not a part of the World Wide Underground anymore. Black kind of went on a... Uh, he, he, right when I gave him the championship, it's like he went on an age decline, so I was like, oh. It's not like his numbers were declining, but Sammy Callahan was really impressing, so... I I figured I had to put the belt on Callahan. Like, strike the pot when it's hot, you know? So we gave the belt to Callahan. I went ahead and created an alliance, the Smashing of Wrestling Alliance. I forgot that our name's not an alliance. We're the Smashing of Wrestling Association. 
All American Wrestling, All Star Wrestling in England, Capital City Championship Wrestling Combat in Canada, Lucha Libre Elite in Mexico, Melbourne City Wrestling in Australia, and Michinoku Pro Wrestling in Japan. All a part of the uh, the alliance. All, All American Wrestling is also an American company. Didn't mention that. And we have the one championship. It's kind of the Evolve Championship, even though I wasn't able to make the Evolve Championship into the the uh, actual... I wasn't able to make the actual Evolve Championship into this title is what I'm saying. So I pretty much just named it the Evolve Championship and I'm pretending it. So that's why it doesn't have the history of the title. But ACH was the final Evolve Champion because we did Sammy Callahan and ACH as our final thing, defending both the titles against each other. Uh, he didn't last too long because then it went to Brian Cage. And then the great Sasuke upset him out of nowhere, which sucked because I was planning to have Glenn Jacobs, who I was booking as a guy named Aziel at the time, one of our big monsters, to take it off of him. So I had to have him take it off as the great Sasuke instead. But I had him beat Cage first just so I got that win. And then uh, Pentagon Black Zero, call him what you want. I don't know. That's what I named him, Pentagon Zero, for my company. He beat uh, Aziel for the championship, which sucks because I was trying to build Sammy Callahan up to beat him for it. So I had that, which it still worked out because then I like I, I did what exactly what I did before. I had Sammy beat Pentagon for the championship. And then Sammy went on a freaking tear, man. And that's pretty much where he became this uber popular over guy that he is now. And then he lost the championship to Psycho Clown. So I had him hold the championship for a while, but I figured it's time to give it to Johnny Hennigan since he wasn't our world champion now. So... He's already made a defense, too. He defended it against Jack Evans. Probably the best championship match the Evolve title's ever seen. But yeah, that's the Smashing Wrestling Alliance. Sorry if I have took up a lot of your guys' time, but uh, there you have it. Expect a video to come out soon announcing the show for this week's OMG Fire Pro League. And uh, I, hey, I'm going to be streaming in a few minutes. If you guys want to join me for that, you're more than welcome to. But, uh... Either way, I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a great one. Merry Christmas.